Well, for this week's special spotlight segment, we head to the Coachella Valley and check in with Tom Jordan about earthquake activity in California. Here's Tom. California, no stranger to one of these. Earthquakes, among the largest threat to our otherwise stable lives, they rumble through the landscape like a roaring freight train, tumbling anything not bolted down. Seismologists say there's no question the big one, a quake in the 7.0 to a possible 8.5, will hit. When? Well, not even they know, but how? That's easier to explain. This is the Coachella Valley Preserve. These palm trees and oasis are a natural byproduct of an underground fault line that runs right through the Coachella Valley. You might have heard of it. It's called the San Andreas Fault. It is the country's largest and possibly most respected fault lines. But now building structures to withstand one of its major quakes has now become a reality. We built one in Guam that had a, I was an 8.1 earthquake with no structural problems to it. Mark Heath is the chief technology officer of Green Sandwich Technologies based in North Hollywood. He says their buildings are the most structurally sound in terms of withstanding some of Mother Nature's whims. The concrete panel structures essentially sandwich foam, trusses, and wire mesh inside. The panels are erected and clipped together to form the envelope of a building. Later, the structure receives a concrete skin application on both the interior and exterior panel walls, a system that can withstand hurricanes, fires, and hold up to jarring quakes. First of all, it's stronger because it is concrete, but then even when it does get pushed to its limits, it doesn't fail dramatically like typical rigid concrete. It's able to absorb and flex a little bit. It has some ductility in it. So even when you push it to its limit, you don't have the dramatic failures you would often see in concrete. This type of technology is spreading across the nation, including the desert. This strip mall in La Quinta off Washington and Highway 111 uses the same formula, concrete with insulation. And it's not just because of the disaster-proof effects. These buildings also defend against pests, mold, and provide high levels of energy efficiency. If you had a wood-framed house sitting next to a skip house, the skip house would probably save you 60% per annum in your heating and cooling costs. The cost to buy one of these homes? Less than a typical wood house. Builders say they can keep labor costs down because it takes about half the time to construct than a typical home. In Pakistan, for example, the company built homes for earthquake refugees at a rate of about one home every three days. Now, some Californians hope this new way of building homes will catch on here before it's too late.